Hi everybody, this is Ed Link with Barham's Ozark Beef, and I'm here to tell you today about the Beef Snob Sampler. I get a lot of questions about the Beef Snob Sampler, so I want to answer those. So first off, you get quite a few really cool cuts with the Beef Snob Sampler. Let's start with the steaks. Everybody loves the steaks, so one of the things about it, you get two ribeye steaks. Okay, now if you come out to the farmer's market, you understand that those sell out so fast, we can't keep them in stock. But with a sampler, you do get two ribeye steaks. You also get a very nice tenderloin steak uh, with your order, a New York strip steak. These are delicious. And then usually a pretty good size top sirloin steak. A lot of times they're over a pound. Uh, also, you get 14 pounds of ground beef. Now, out of everything that we've done, we get more compliments about the ground beef than we do anything. So if you have not tried our ground beef, you've got to try it. <clears throat> I think you'll like it. Well, the other things you get are two roasts. Each beef snob sample will have at least one chuck roast. This will be between two and three pounds. Uh, you'll also get one other roast. In this particular example, there's a uh, Pikes Peak roast, which is kind of a fun cut. It could be an arm roast. It could be a round roast, a rump roast, uh, possibly a brisket, uh, or a, uh, a top sirloin roast. So you've got a few options there on that second one that you might see in your beef snob sampler. Other items that you'll get, you'll get at least one beef short rib. Usually these are around a pound and a half, maybe up to two and a half pounds. Uh, a, a pack of fajita meat could be one of the options. In this particular one, there's two kebab meats. Uh, each of them a little bit over a pound, almost a pound and a half, a uh, pound and a quarter, a pound and a half each. Uh, you may also get uh, stew meat could be one of the options. And every now and then, just for fun, I'll throw in something else like uh, beef neck bones or a soup bone or uh, something completely different that maybe you haven't tried before. And that would be on top of uh, what you would typically get in a beef snob sampler. Uh, one of the other questions I get is, does this fit into my refrigerator at home? And so I want to show you a picture of that real quick. So you can see that, yes, it does fit in your refrigerator at home, uh, especially if you have a side-by-side -side fridge and freezer. Of course, if you have a deep freeze, uh, it would certainly fit in that. It may take up one and a half cu uh, cubic feet in the freezer, so it's really not that much space, uh, but it will keep you busy for quite some time. Uh, so thank you so much for listening. You know, this is all natural, sweet potato fed, pasture raised beef, and uh, we think you will love it, and thank you so much for watching uh, this video.